Hey guys, President Bola Tinubu has warned the country's service chiefs to tackle the rising insecurity and killings and ensure that the threats facing Nigerians are neutralized. The president stated this on Friday while addressing security chiefs and heads of intelligence agencies at a presidential security briefing at the State House, Abuja. Though these have generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Failure is not an option. Under my leadership, President Tinubu wants service chiefs over nationwide killings. President Bola Tinubu has warned the country's service chiefs to tackle the rising insecurity and killings and ensure that the threats facing Nigerians are neutralized. The president stated this on Friday while addressing security chiefs and heads of intelligence agencies at a presidential security briefing at the State House, Abuja. According to his statement, President Tinubu said, why good purpose was being made with the elimination of some security threats across multiple theater, success would ultimately be defined by a final conclusion to the multiple dimensional menace. He said a one trillion economy targets in the next few years will be undermined without finally wrapping up progressive onslaught against enemies of progress. The president who further warned against a repeat of avoidable bombing of civilians in Kaduna State lauded the current synergy among the security agencies. We have too many investments that we need to make now in soft and physical infrastructure, in social security, in empowerment, and other growth enablers. We are pursuing a $1 trillion economy in the next few years, and our efforts will be undermined if we do not finally wrap up our progressive onslaught against enemies of progress, be encouraged. The confidence of our people in your capacity is rising, and they are, they are appreciative of the sacrifice of our men and women. The success you are recording is undermineable. Nigerians are seeing it, but the avoidable errors, as witnessed recently in Kaduna, are unacceptable and cannot be repeated. I am pleased that coordination between all agencies has just drastically improved over the recent months, but there is no room for celebrations until we can end this until we can bring our troops back to their own locations, and until we can free up resources for our critical economic expansion program. The president, in a statement by his spokesman, Ajari Galali, he charged the security agencies to sustain the momentum stating that failure is not an option under my leadership. President Tinubu also stressed that the armed forces must deliver on its objective to ensure the nation achieves sustainable production of 2 million barrels of crude oil per day, including can contestate within the first quarter of 2024. 
I do not play with my intelligence reports. I have multiple lines of sight. The Navy and sister branches must set up their game to achieve our aims for the benefit of all Nigerians. All malign actors will be aggressively uprooted from our midst. Those working against the national agenda from within and without we meet justice. Your tax is clear. We will sustain the momentum. Failure is not an option. Under my leadership, he won't. The president also commended the commander of the presidential, presidential air fleet, PAF, the commander of the brigade of guards, and his chief personal security officer for their dedication and commitment in the discharge of their assignments, which has earned them a promotion. Sahara reporters had earlier re uh, reported that at least 17 people were killed, while 58 were failed kidnapped in an operation that lasted for six hours after gunmen invaded three communities on Tuesday night at Dawaki Ward in Karu, local government area of Kaduna State. The former councillor of the ward, Honorable Amino, disclosed this in an interview, adding that three affected village, villages were Onguan, Sako, Kankari, and Danga, Kanji village. Well, Nigerians, you've all heard it now. He has won the service chiefs. He has won the service chiefs to sit up. The issue of insecurity in Nigeria is from our intelligence communities, especially National Intelligence Agency, NIA. Also with the Nigerian Custom Service, they should be stable to identify the origin of sources of ammunition. Since we are not the one producing the ammunition, how are they? Uh, how are these ammunition entering the country? How do they get through our borders? So many questions need answers, but we pray. They gather the necessary information. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.